This is the End Zone Welcome, where we talk everything football. It's just one big community of football fans, every single level. So if you're new to the channel or you're already a member of the Chain Gang, that's what we call ourselves, please comment down below your favorite football team across any league, whether it be NFL, college, XFL, CFL, high school. Maybe it's a peewee team you were a star of. Let me know down below. I'd love to hear that. But today we're talking about some XFL news, and this is huge, huge XFL news if you're an XFL fan or a football fan in general, because it really does have an impact on the future of the XFL. So recent rumors have been coming out saying that Vince McMahon is going to buy back the XFL. Now, if you didn't know already, you're gonna wanna go check the videos that I posted in the past. I'll link them at the end. There are two videos kind of talking about what the XFL is doing. So first of all, the XFL has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. And the point of Chapter 11 bankruptcy, like I've said in the past, isn't to sell everything. So the AAF was trying to sell everything when they filed Chapter 9 bankruptcy. The XFL Chapter 11 bankruptcy is very different. It's restructuring. The plan is to keep moving on, keep going, keep delivering the product but they have to change some things. So that's the whole point of chapter 11 bankruptcy. It's not to end things, it's not to sell everything. You're still keeping management at the top. You're still running things. You're just restructuring everything. So in the XFL's kind of uh, situation, they're planning on coming back. And we know this because they've already started negotiating leases with three XFL teams, Houston, Seattle, and of course, St. Louis. So they already are working on getting those stadiums booked for another uh, XFL season, but we don't know when that might be. We still are waiting on information to come out. But a lot of people thought that the XFL was going to have bidders, including Vince McMahon. Now the XFL is going to have a ton of bidders. I have some insiders talking about some their groups, their individual parties, just one person, but there are also parties with multiple people who are bidding on the XFL. And many people thought that Vince McMahon was going to be one of these parties. But now you can take this a good way, you can take this a bad way, excuse me, I dropped my pen. Vince McMahon is not going to be included in any of these parties. So Vince McMahon is not trying to buy back the XFL, contrary to popular belief. Now, that is good and that is bad. Uh, some people do not like the way Vince McMahon has managed things, whether it be the XFL or the WWE. Uh, he also really does have great TV deals. You know, he was a big reason why they were able to get Fox and ESPN to broadcast those games, which was huge for the XFL. So that's a good thing, but you know, there's always, there's no really right or wrong, but it seems like he's going to still be working with the XFL. He just won't be the owner per se. So there will be new ownership coming in. They're gonna be restructuring. Um, you're gonna see some different stadiums cities will be moved so LA is probably not going to have a team Orlando will probably get a team from Tampa Bay uh, you know New York is going to be changing stadiums so while the XFL is coming back you know the point of chapter 11 bankruptcy is to restructure everything and that's exactly what the XFL is doing so this has just come out this is brand new news but Vince McMahon will not be buying back the XFL I'd love to know what you think down below thanks for watching the end zone make sure to like subscribe and comment so we can move the chains